everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. We are in the afterlife again and a very special kind of afterlife because this is Achenaten's afterlife dominated by a giant Aten in the sky. And I think I finally uh, came to realize the reason why in this game the Aten is not depicted as a disc uh, as it was in ancient Egypt but as a sphere, because of course it is basically the Apple of Eden, right? So I suppose Achenaten at some point found an Apple of Eden and that inspired him to create his religion of Aten. That makes sense, I suppose. But yeah, um, before we leave this place, there's still quite a lot of stuff to do. Um, of course, a number of minor landmarks. And we found a side quest, which is actually three smaller quests. I have to find some of the old gods that are hidden somewhere in this place. And I guess it's Toth, Bastet and Horus. And since these uh, places are spread all over the map, um, I will, uh, to save some time, finish all the other landmarks while I'm uh, picking up uh, these whatever I'm supposed to find there. Statues probably. Um, and yeah, as usual, I will edit um, the material and only show you the more interesting parts. But yeah, um, I'm going to start with the one that is closest and maybe pick up some of the treasures in, in this place first. And as always, I'll bring you back whenever I find something interesting. Alright, I found my target. It seems to be somewhere underwater in this little canal. I mean, the quest does say the black cat gasps for air with the old idols. So I guess it's somewhere submerged in the water. However, before I go over there, I'm still looking for the second treasure here at the great temple of Aten. And I haven't found it so far. So I'll keep looking until I found it. Also, I guess while I'm here, I should finally <gasps> synchronize the viewpoint. Let's do it. That is a pretty amazing place. Although the Aten on top of it is actually kind of threatening. <laughs> it looks like a supernova that's about to crash into the earth. <laughs> All right. Um, can I go down here? Yep, there's a haystack all the way at the bottom. Alright, I found the second treasure in the temple. Now let's try to find drowns. Busted. The ship sank carrying statues of the old gods. And maybe I should deal with these crocodiles before I go into the water. Because crocodiles are hard to fight when you're in water. Stop squirming. Okay, there we go. And now we can dare to actually go inside the water. Now, let's see. We have a sunken ship over here. And, well, it could be I a statue, yes, it's a statue. Busted, the invisible paw when she had her morning sickness. Okay, that's one statue down. We still have to find the statues of uh, Toth and Horus. But as always, I will uh, make sure to finish all the other landmarks in between. May I just uh, note that the way that the textures connect in this particular place is kind of creepy. <laughs> Suddenly you have a two-faced child over here. That's that's a little bit um, unfortunate. All right, I think I found another stele. And for some reason it's blocked by all these vases. And of course, snakes. Okay, let's have a look at the Stela. Oh, victorious one, living Aten, you whose rays shatter our darkness. 
We will sing a thousand songs in your name, compose ten hundred scrolls on your victories against the Hittites. Your wisdom is boundless. Okay, but why is it so hidden? Why are all these stellar so hidden in this in this world? But okay, um, I actually believe there is another stellar very close by, over here. But I will check out uh, this landmark over here first. Alright, here's the next stela. This one is not hidden. This is the one that's right next to the entrance of this place. So let's have a look. Birth of a god, Amenhotep, you whose vision gave us our purpose. You saw, you saw the sun disk one between two mountains, your chamber amongst titans. And so did Amun's reflection rise. Hmm. Very cryptic. Okay. But um, I guess I still need um, more of these stellar. Let's have a look at the inventory. Yeah, you need four of them before you get the final um, puzzle. Um, okay, let's see. The next uh, quest marker is right over here next to the house of the sacred crocodile. So yeah, I guess um, we'll check that out next. All right, let's have a look at this. Where is the next statue? Okay. It's somewhere near the crocodile, presumably. I mean, the riddle says the green ibis cannot escape the jaws of the bloodless titan. Is the bloodless titan the crocodile? Or at the very least, it might be very close to the crocodile. But how do I get there? The crocodile seems to be somewhere underneath this place. Oh, I see. Yeah, I will I will have to kill the crocodile if I want to retrieve the statue, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I kind of have to kill the crocodile anyway. So I may as well do it now. All right, now let's go down here. And let's see if we can find that statue. Ah, well, here it is. Doth, bed is set, fear not. I have come from heaven to heal the child for his mother. That was not our truth. Hm. Definitely not. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there's like another way in or out of this place. Okay, that's a statue at number two, but I still need um, the final one. Let's see where exactly would that be. Okay, over here. Um, yeah, I have finished most of these landmarks already. I gotta check out this one over here and then I will move on to our next uh, destination. All right, apparently the next statue is... Uh, in the middle of the royal barracks, so quite a lot of guards in the area. Also a number of treasures that I have to pick up, but I guess I will try to go for my objective first. There's a treasure over here. And there's also a few hidden entrances. And, uh, well, first of all, let me pick up treasure that's like right next to me if I can uh, where is it oh is it inside this little building here okay I think I found it and there we go that's one of two in this place but I guess I will uh, look for the second treasure later. Now, let's see what we have to do about getting the third statue. One captain and one commander. All right. Um, I would like to get a little bit higher if I can. Like on top of this pylon, for example. Uh. 
All right, now let's see. Um, what is this, by the way? Oh, another entrance. Um, I mean, I can probably just stay on top of the walls for a while. Oh, um, well, so much for that. Didn't see you coming at all. And the next one already is approaching. But I might be able to just assassinate this one. There we go. Yeah, this is a pretty open area. Not a lot of high ground where I can move. But the high ground should hopefully give me enough elevation that I can maybe even one shot kill. Yep, I can totally kill the commander over here. And we have another guy approaching from over here. Oh well, um, that didn't work out. Okay. So, where is our statue? Oh, hi! You have to die as well. There we go. Oh, it's in the water. Okay. It's one down. Huh, this one is a little bit too strong for a normal arrow. But the predator bow will do the trick. Let's see. Where is our statue? Oh, I think I can... I can see it. Hemo would often go. speak of Senu as my Horus. Papo, a keen eye protects you. <laughs> <laughs> that is now true. Now I can restore the gods to Kui. I hope these likenesses of the gods soothe Kui. Right, which means I have to go back to um, wherever he was. <laughs> I guess I should mark this as active. Okay, it's over here. Well, I will quickly finish off uh, the remaining uh, landmarks and then I will head back to my destination here. <coughs> All right, looks like I found the final stela. Let's have a look at it. A new horizon. Ahenaten, he of the divine knowledge, cries out to the, his great wife Nefertiti, We must be voiceless no longer. We will tear down the old walls and build a new city to the soul god. All right. Well, I have um, the final puzzle. So let's have a look at it. In the sinister reflection of the sun disk, one chamber sits between two. Within its walls, all knowledge cries out from a voiceless barricade. A thousand scrolls in praise of wisdom and the living Artem's race, while behind the enemy weapons, a heretic eternal. Um, yeah, I've seen some places that had like a bunch of scrolls inside. So I might be able to find that place again. But before I look uh, for the treasure, Let's go back to Kui and uh, finish our side mission. All right, here we are. Let's talk to him again. I brought you some statues of the old gods. I hope it makes you happy. Yes. I remember him. Lord of the Hidden Sun. Amun-Ra! You think you betray your past, Bayek? This path you walk now, hmm. the tenets you live by, they are within us all. We too value the innocent. We too long for peace. If you desire peace, Baek, 
accept it. Well, that was unexpected. Huh. Gods or Creed? I mean, uh, I guess the name of the quest is supposed to be a hint here. Oh, I, I got a new sword, Amun's Might. I want to have a look at that sword. Is this something that I may want to use instead of a golden wolf, which I've been using for a long, long time, basically ever since I killed the first of the Felaketai, because I think he gave me that sword. Instant charging, critical hit rate, critical damage. I mean, I would have to level it up and then I can see if maybe I want to replace it. Of course, I'm still very partial towards the health on kill. Then again, I'm not sure if I really need it anymore. I mean, it was useful at first, but I think I'm strong enough that I might be able to do without it by now. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Once I level it up, uh, maybe I'm going to use this one instead. It looks pretty good. Okay, so I guess we finished all the locations and I'm not seeing any more side missions. Of course, now I have to find um, the treasure. Let's have another look at it. Oh, it's this one. In the sinister reflection of the sun, this one chamber sits between two. Within its walls, all knowledge cries out from a voiceless barricade. A thousand scrolls in praise of wisdom and the living artens race, while behind the enemy weapons, a heretic eternal. Um, yeah, like I said, I've seen some chambers with scrolls while I was making my round here. I mean, I'm guessing it might be somewhere in the chambers of reflection because that's part of the riddle. So that's where I will start looking. But if it isn't in this place, I will try to find the other places again that had scrolls in them. Anyway, can we have a look at these statues? There is an inscription here. Thoth. Revealer of the Hidden, Soul of the Becoming, Scribe of the Nine Gods. As a boy, the priests would make us pray to him for wise counsel. <laughs> Thoth seldom granted it to me. I see. Horus, Lord of the Sky. <laughs> Hemu would beg and beg me to tell him the story of Set and Horus. How they turned themselves into hippopotamus to see who could remain underwater the longest. All right. Oh dear. Um, he's stuck. He isn't moving anymore. Help! <laughs> What's going on? Why? Why am I stuck here? Um. Yeah. This is awkward. I may have to restart the game because. He's not doing anything anymore. All right, well, um, I guess I'm going to quit to the title screen and uh, we will try this again. All right, um, I made my way back here after restarting. I wanted to have a look at the last statue. Maybe let's try not to get stuck this time. The goddess busted. Epsifer told me a story of a Persian king who turned the tide of battle. He ordered her image painted upon his soldiers' shields, and our men refused to fight. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting little trick. <laughs> but okay, um, it looks like we interacted with all the statues, and the guy just vanished. Um, I mean, he turned into Bayek. That was rather mysterious. Maybe he was not a man. Maybe he was a god of some sort, right? But okay, um, I guess we are done with this. Um, I will keep looking for uh, that final treasure and I suppose after that we can uh, leave this place again. Alright, there's definitely a bunch of scrolls here in the Chambers of Reflection. To the governor of the city, Akhenaten. Great governor, something has gone terribly wrong with the world. The great Aten, our god, is losing his power. Shadows no longer fall in the right way. Perhaps you think I'm losing my mind, but look for yourself. Huh. That is interesting. Okay, so I found um, the chambers with the scrolls. Let's have another look at um, the riddle. 
Uh, within its walls all knowledge cries out from a voiceless barricade. A thousand scrolls in praise of wisdom and the living Artens race. While behind the enemy weeps a heretic eternal. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. I will I will look around a while. Oh, is this over here? Something? Oh, I can actually th squeeze through here. Okay, well, this was kind of difficult to find, but I guess uh, that's our treasure. Oh, it's a predator bow. Huh, okay, I want to have a look at that. Finding a legendary predator bow is actually kind of difficult. I only found two in this game so far. So let's have a look at this one. Health on kill. Stealth damage combo multiplier. Hmm. I mean, it has like slightly less damage. Also, I really like the elevation multiplier on the trophy hunter. So um, I may want to keep this one. But still, that's actually kind of a neat treasure. Alright, um, now that we finished this, I guess we are more or less done with this place. Let's have one final look at the map. But yeah, I think all the landmarks are checked off. So I suppose we will um, go back uh, to Thebes now. Um, can I actually... Travel directly to Thebes. I mean, I'm supposed to use the mouse wheel to <laughs> uh, view Thebes, but it's not really working all that well. Let me just fast travel to this location and we will exit the normal way, I suppose. Anyway, um, I've been recording for roughly an hour now, so I will take a quick break and edit the material I have just to see how long this episode is because I will probably remove most of the footage which means uh, we may be able to do some other stuff I will have a look around to see if there's like new side missions or something and if not I guess we will continue uh, with the next main mission right away so yeah I'll bring you back once I'm back in the real world Alright, I am back in Thebes and I just finished recording um, all the material I have recorded so far and as expected there's still quite a bit of time left in this episode. However, since apparently no new side missions have appeared anywhere, I will just continue with the main mission. I mean, we still have like an unexplored um, place over here, but I guess we will uh, check that out later. Let's uh, have a look at the next uh, main mission. So I gotta talk to Isidora again. Let's do it. Nefertiti and Achenaten are no more. I defeated them in the Duat. You have seen the land of the dead, yet still live. No. It was a trick of the mind. I walked through the field of reeds, felt the breeze against my skin, but I was never there. I doubt I ever will be. Never doubt it. I do not need to know what you have done to know that there is a way. I will help you find it. The Aten. Achenaten passed it to his successors. It could have been stolen from any of their tombs. I hear Tichun's funeral is taking place soon. Did his ledger reveal anything else? He knew the tombs quite well. No. Irsu, the bile that robbed Nefertiti's tomb, did say he was working with others, but... Well... What happened? Is he dead? Soldiers coming. Please, you should not be seen. Here. Hey. <laughs> Priestess, a question. We have been investigating a ring of unsanctioned tomb robbers. Unsanctioned? Imagine my surprise to all the when our prime suspect robbers, huh? turns up dead. I know you had your differences, so tell me, priestess, who killed Tichon? Oh dear. Um, Tichon. Maybe I should intervene here. Was he not one here. of yours? 
a comrade of your strategos. Perhaps one of his allies grew tired of sharing the profits of the desecrated tombs. Did you find a dagger in his back? There are many who wished his death. How will you narrow your search? Steer clear of Tichon's funeral. Mm -hmm. Do a thorough search. See what she is hiding. Well, I feel I should intervene here. <laughs> You are just causing problems. Let's do it. All right. Um, I hope. I hope it's on the problem that I spilled blood in the temple of Amun. But okay. Um, let's find Tuhan's villa and let's see if we can get any information from that. All right. Let's see. Where do I have to go? Where exactly is his villa? Probably the building over here? Yeah. The biggest house in the entire city, of course. Not counting the temples. <coughs> okay, um, I probably have to infiltrate this place. I'm sure there's going to be guardians and whatnot. Let's see. Yeah, there's a few. Um, okay, that's not of interest at the moment. I'm not seeing any guardians in the outer areas of the villa, but they are guarding like the main building. So, let's see. What would be the best way to get there? Oh. Investigate Tuchon's office. Of limits. Oh, I can't, can't climb this wall, mm. really? Okay, I can <clears throat> climb this one. Uh, um, the slavish morning leaves me time to search his villa. Let's kill the this guy first. Men have already oh, been. Um, you turned around in just the wrong moment. <laughs> And another one have, has already noticed me. Well, I guess uh, this is going to be a little bit messier than usual. Let's break it a fence and there we go. Let's take down the big guy first. That was fully timed. And I can use an overpower on the shield guy. Well, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Oh, I, I used it on the wrong person, though. But I guess the chain throw will take care of him. Alright, that was the quick and dirty approach. The Stratigos men have already been through here. What did they miss? At least now I should have enough time and peace to actually investigate this place. Uh, let's look around a bit. Ah, locked. I need another way in. Hmm. Okay, we can't just destroy that door. Tikhon and Ersu are working together. You bag of rancid cow dung. Pay me the money you owe me, or Cyrus help me, I will slit your throat. I risk a Thomas Rast to get to that latest hall. A quite and quite a tidy lot it was. Goat, Cerulean, even a sword made from shards of the stars. Pay me, the pharaohs come for lies and sheets. Irsu. <laughs> okay. The strategist ordered his men to apprehend Tihon. Tuchon, old friend, we are still friends, are we not? So, believe me when I say this is not personal. We agree to split the tombs and yet I find out your men have been seen scavenging in my territory. Perhaps the soldiers accompanying this letter will, this letter can clear up any misunderstanding. Artemis Tategos of Yebu. So, basically they're fighting over who gets to rob which tomb? That is interesting. Not sure if that really helps me at the moment, but 
Yeah, um, I need to find a way inside that room. Let's have a look downstairs first. Desecration and thievery paid for his expensive tastes. I guess so. Tihon made a fortune trading our history to Rome. Oh, that's interesting. It seems to pay off pretty well. Okay, um, let's see. How do I get into the other room? Um, well, this might be something I can move, maybe? Yep, this is something I can move. All right, let's do it. And now we can open up the Tihon's door. Tihon's papers are undisturbed. Okay, so they haven't found whatever is inside this room. Let's see. What is this? A chest. And a slip of papyrus. Hmm. Someone else is looking for the relic. So, who are you, Lotus? Lotus? The ship docked in Swenet. That is my next port of call. Bloody I should no find water. the scribe's office. The manifest might tell me who the ship belongs to. Okay, so we're looking for a person who might go by the name of Lotus? Treasures from the Pharaohs. Quite a hoard. Huh. Right. It looks like these are canopies for uh, storing the inner organs of a mummified pharaoh. <laughs> anyway, um, let's have a look at that next quest. Blood in the water. With two hundred, Bayek discovers another is seeking the relic. There's just no end to it. He heads to Swanet in search of the ship belonging to the mysterious Lotus. Well, I have been to Swanet before. It's like one of the smaller... Uh, villages nearby. Yep, here we go. So I can just fast travel to that location to speed it up a little bit. All right, um, that is the location we have to go to. Well, I suppose I may as well Leap of faith down here. Visit the scribe in Swanet. Okay, um, where exactly are you? Alright, I'll head over there. Maybe he can tell us what's going on here. Alright, scribe, uh, where are you? Huh. Inside the building? Let's knock, maybe. <laughs> Place looks deserted. Where mm. could he have gone? That's Ooh. no good. And you are? Looking for the scribe. You and half of Yebu. <laughs> hmm. But no one has seen him since yesterday. I need to find him. Well. Are you not strong and <laughs> masterful? But why would I know where he is? I am only the one who pays his wages. Okay. Ah. Wait, wait. I cannot bear to see anyone so crestfallen. Try the hunter's village. He has a taste for exotic meat, if you know okay. what I mean. No, <laughs> no I don't. Of course he Hippo, doesn't. Hippo, silly! <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he headed to the Paris village for more paper. Thank you, Neb. No, thank you, Neb. Hmm. And if you do find him, hmm. tell him he's fine. <laughs> that guy is kind of shifty. But okay, um, at least he gave us some information. Find the scribe. He left on errands to the south. All right, let's have a look. Um, it's near a hideout, but we've already dealt with that problem. All right, so I'll head over there and maybe we can find our missing scribe. All right, I can already send out Senyu. So let's see, but what the hell would he be doing here? There's 
nothing going on here. Just farmlands and animals. All right, well, um, I guess he's here anyway. Oh, is this like his cart? Did his cart break down? Oh, signs of a struggle. Oh. This doesn't look good for the scribe or the manifest. Mm, no, nope. Someone else must have taken it first. Bandits ambushed him. I need that manifest. They must have taken his belongings to their camp. All right, that's probably the camp that I saw on my map. Yeah, it is. Flooded farm hideout. And that's where I have to go. Okay. Um, so even if we don't find the scribe, we might at least be able to find the manifest again. Yeah, it's somewhere inside this hideout. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult to retrieve. Oh, what the hell? He's trying to attack me. Probably the lion or a leopard. Yeah, it's it's one of these. Okay, um, let me quickly take care of this. There we go. Now, um. I really just want the manifest. Apparently, my quest marker is basically the person over here. So I probably have to take the manifest off of him. Let's do it. Oh, suddenly we have more bandits coming this way. Um, but they didn't really stay long. That's fine with me. Mm. Well, well. Ah! <laughs> Protect the net first. Oh, they got poisoned by the dead body, huh? Ah. <gasps> All right, guys. I guess you will have to die as well. If you're so stupid to what? come here. All right. This got is it? the lotus ship. Says. It docked south of Yebu. Uh, hopefully it is still there. It's when it ship manifest. Merchant Filuka Amun's bounty carrying pelts and wine to Alexandria. Merchant ship unmarked docked south of Yebu with the lotus. Merchant Filuka pride of Sobek grain honey wool. Okay, so we found the location of our boat. Oh, it's all the way over there. I haven't actually explored this area yet, as you can see. And I guess we're not going to look for the scribe anymore. We're just going to assume that he's dead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, I will leave this place and head for um, the next location, trying to find that boat. <coughs> Alright, I'm on my way to my location, but it looks like we found another pharaoh's shadow oh well um look at that that is a new one i mean it, it's not the tutankhamun shadow that we fought a while ago it has a different weapon and it looks slightly different i suppose all right um i'm guessing this is the shadow of Ramesses. Since uh, I assume that all the shadows that we are supposed to fight here are the ones that actually have tombs in, in the Valley of Kings, so I guess uh, this is the final one. The messes are great. Alright. Let's take care of him. He has a pretty big weapon, but he's also slow, so I hope I will be able to defeat him with a few good evasions and there's like a soldier somewhere around here as well uh, you should probably just leave I mean he's actually holding up pretty well hey stop the problem is I never know if the soldier is going to attack the shadow or me. <laughs> Alright, I have another power available. Let's make use of it. Alright. 
Oh, oh, what the hell? What are you doing? No, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, um, oh, and now he's actually charging me. Um, how unexpected. Let's, let's retreat for a second. All right. No, no, don't, don't. I was, I was almost, almost done defeating you. Okay, so I have to be really careful. If I retreat for too long, they just vanish. Um, that is unfortunate. But okay, um, I guess I'll continue on my way towards my next uh, destination. And well, it looks like we actually have a side mission over here. But for now, let's focus on our main mission. Alright, there's our boat. Are there like actually people on board? Yep, there are. Ah, looks like it has already been boarded. Oh, apparently it's not people, it's vultures. Okay. Vultures shouldn't be a problem. Um, well, let's see. What can we find here? First of all, is that a treasure I can pick up? I have to destroy this first. Oh, um... <laughs> Of course, there's stupid snakes inside. Yes, get them! Get them, Senyu! Alright, here we go. Um, but now let's look for some clues. Pieces of broken relics. Okay, so again, someone else uh, has gotten to the relic first and probably taken it from these people. They tortured the sailors for information. Probably. A lot of blood. Someone dragged the body towards the edge of the deck. But where did it end up? Oh. In the water. A distraction, yeah. maybe. And I see a bunch there of was people a fight over here. there. But someone dragged a body overboard to try and create a distraction. Did they make it to the shore? Um, I will check that out in a second. Oh, there were more clues, but apparently now I can't actually interact with them anymore. I can interact with this one, though. They left the precious cargo untouched, looking for information, not profit. Yeah. And looking for the relic, no doubt. Ottery. Very fine craftsmanship. That doesn't help me at all. Um. Oh, what is this? They tortured the sailors. Okay, this is just the one I already had. Okay, I guess I have to follow the bloody trail here. Oh, oh, there's hippos. Let's avoid the hippos. Oh, I will be very bloody too. And there's crocodiles too. What the hell? Um. Quickly, quickly, let's get, let's get on land, so I can properly fight with these animals. Those brutes are not... Alright, um... I guess the crocodile and the hippo are now fighting each other. I can live with that. That's completely fine with me. Alright, have you seen anything around here by any chance? That scallywag made off with my horse! A horse? Somebody so stole your horse? Someone stole your horse? Did they come from the ship? Yes. Some rust-haired demon. Slid it from the river like an otter. Stole Ganymede and rode off towards the smuggler's village. And your clothes? <laughs> a man cannot even have a refreshing swim oh. without thieves and vagabonds setting upon him. Now what am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, pray to Sobek to return your robes. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should do that. Find the red-haired thief. Okay, so he's the one who stole who stole the horse and the clothes. Um, well, let's see. Okay, I gotta go to this village over here. Sure, let's do it. Right, let's see. 
where are you? I'm going on quite a wild goose chase here, so maybe we can finally find something. Moon Cursor Village. That is an interesting name. Now let's see. Is this actually our red-haired fellow or just another lead? Well, it's it's him. It's actually him. Sudek? <laughs> of course. How many more red-headed thieves are out there? <laughs> thief? I'm no thief, Bayek. Ah, uh, your uncle's auction. That fisherman's horse. Yeah. When you put it that way... Yeah. I know you are on this ship. Who owns it? Troubled dogs my every step. Am I responsible for those desecrators? Can I help it if one was my blood, <laughs> another pays my wage? The ship, Sudek. Ah, yes. Now that was an adventure. Mm -hmm. Tell me all about it. I was doing important work when we were boarded. Of course, the crew panicked. Me, I was cool as a breeze at the oasis. <laughs> they were shouting for Merti to come out, but she was never on board. Wait, the merchant woman? They searched the whole ship, killed anyone who got in their way. Until they found the captain. Dragged him out, kicking and cursing. Killed his men in front of him until he told them where she was. I was the only survivor. Crocodiles below me, soldiers everywhere. I made my epic escape. <laughs> By throwing a dead man in the water to distract the beasts. Okay. Now we have established your heroism. Where is Merti? Probably at her villa west of Yebu, the house of the Blue Lotus. It's by the pretty waterfalls. I could come with you, fight by mm. your side. Mm. I will find her. <laughs> and you, keep out of trouble. That's for the better. Of course, of course. I wonder, how would someone become a smuggler? I am asking for a friend. <laughs> I can't help you there. Okay, so we have another trail. Reach Murdy's Villa. Alright, it's over here. Again, haven't actually been to that place yet. However, the episode is getting very long. So I'm going to make a cut here. And I will probably finish off a few landmarks in the vicinity of camera. And then we will continue with this quest in the next episode. So as always, thank you for watching. And see you again next time.